Today, we recognize that the forebears of many Americans of Hispanic descent, well, it was the United States that came to them, not the other way around. That's true in Puerto Rico, throughout the Southwest. We Californians fully appreciate the highly developed Hispanic culture that existed in our state prior to its becoming part of the United States. As in the other states of the Southwest, there were thriving Hispanic cities, governments, ranches, and businesses. There was also a mission system built by a remarkable Franciscan priest named Father Junipero Serra. Today, with this proclamation, we're reminding our fellow citizens that our Hispanic heritage is something of which all Americans can be proud. We honor all those many millions of our citizens who so exemplify the values of family, work, and respect for God and love of country. And when it comes to these basic building blocks of character, no group of citizens should be prouder than Americans of Hispanic descent. Over the years, the contributions made by these people just by being good Americans have had an enormous impact on our way of life. With hard work, they've built large corporations and accomplished great things. And when we look for exemplary individuals who have overcome great odds and endured much personal hardship, we know we'll find many in the Hispanic community. And yet success is not only measured in commercial and business accomplishment, let us acknowledge the millions of heroic parents throughout the Hispanic community who, even though struggling to make ends meet, even though managed to raise their children with dignity and pride, see that they receive a good education and teach them the values that are so important to Hispanic Americans, the same values that help bind this nation together. This is the character of the people which we applaud with Hispanic Heritage Week. We also recognize a love of country underlined throughout our history by so many acts of courage and valor. Within the Hispanic community are a host of heroes to whom this country owes a debt we can never repay.